Hello everybody, myself Ayush Goel, head of the department Reliable Institute, Kota. Uh, I am presenting you the analysis of JE 2020, which was held today. Uh, I am presenting you the mathematics part of it. And uh, the students must be very keen in knowing how it flared as compared to previous year. Was it tough in maths? Was it lengthy in maths? Was there any change in the pattern? So prospective candidates, it's also going to be beneficial for you that you can uh, extrapolate what's lie in the future of 2021 and the students who, have, who must have given this JE can assess their uh, uh, paper through this analysis. First of all, I would like to rate the paper as far as tough, easy, moderate. Like previous year, we rated in 2019 the toughness index of 2.35 in mathematics. That is 3 points are assigned to the toughest paper and one point is assigned to the easiest paper. So it was 2.35 in 2019. This year we have assessed the paper to be two, uh, on, on, at a scale of 2.22. So it is more or less same as far as toughness goes as compared to 2019. In 2019 students did experience that the mathematics paper was quite lengthy and this year was no exception. More or less it has become a usual trend that among PCM, mathematics paper turns out to be lengthy every time. This year, the 11th and 12th weightage call are likely biased. That is 23 questions out of, see the pattern, as far as pattern goes, pattern was more or less similar. First of all, let me talk about the pattern. Pattern was more or less similar, except for the fact that in 2019, 186-186 total marks paper were there. And this year, instead 186, it was 198-198. This year, there were 12, uh, in 2019 only 12 SCQs were there, this year 18 SCQs were there and there were no MTC this year. Initially, that is previous year in 2019, there were 12 MTCs in physics, chemistry, maths, maths the column and this year uh, maths the column did not find any place. So maths the column is one thing, how does it impact? Maths the column is one thing which is more scoring for the student because many a times what happens if you were to crack P ka answer, A ka answer P, B ka answer Q. So many of times strings get smashed and even though if you don't know the rest, there is a high probability you can make it correct. So if MTCs come less or none, then uh, the overall scoring of the paper may decrease. Alright. But 18 SCQs over 12 SCQs previously will increase, will help in increasing the score further. Because SCQs are again scoring. So on one hand, less scoring thing was not asked. I'm sorry, more scoring thing was not asked. But more scoring thing was more asked in 2020. So there were contradictory factors in do these two things. So it becomes a level playing ground as compared to 2019. Then, 11th class weightage was 36% and 12th class was 64%. These numbers may mislead you. It may, you may tend to think students that 12th class weightage uh, topics have a very high weightage but in maths let me tell you many of the 12th class uh, questions like we must have classified a question as 12th class syllabus but it entails the concepts of 11th class syllabus. So this figure should not mislead you. It should not give an impression that 12th class syllabus is more important. I will say uh, uh, from my experience seniors that both uh, year equal weightage more or less is there. Yeah, if you were to do tangible measurement, then yes, 12th class wins over 11th class. If you uh, fraud into detail, if you were to look at the topic wise, then this year's heavyweight was LCD. LCD was limit continuity derivative. It was really surprising. There were many questions from this chapter. And again, permutation combination and uh, PNC. So, five questions. Typically, these many questions are not uh, the ones in which comes from PNC and property. Typically two questions, one from PNC, one from property, or maybe three questions, not five. And this year LCD was also very high. On whose cost? On cost of conics. Typically on in, from conics we can expect four questions, but this year two questions appear. Definite integration, this year three questions appear. Typically four questions appear. So not a, a great loss, but a tad lower. Straight lines, it was not there. And circles, only one question was there. So uh, these were the four chapters which typically comes on a higher uh, weightage were little less and uh, who took the benefit of it? These three chapters took the benefit of it.
rest i would say uh, more or less uh, the from analysis point of view the rankings which uh, were there at the percentages of 2019 like 75% whoever was scoring 75% or more uh, scored top 100 rank 84% or so uh, scored top 10 rank i believe looking at the maths paper it's going to be more or less same but certainly physics and chemistry will also have a great impact on it and what i have heard from the students is that physics came little tough on a tougher side but the experts will be able to tell you better so what i presume from 2019 if x percentage uh, gave you certain rank this year x minus percentage will give you the same rank it won't be x plus for sure i hope uh, this analysis would be very helpful to you and everybody who, who whoever has given 2020 paper would have played well all the best